Reddit. What's your family's dark secret? NSFW. My mother was a groupie for Credence Clearwater. There's five kids in my family and none of know who my older sister's biological father is. We all like to speculate about it except for my mother and older sister. My grandparents swapped spouses. My grandmother on my mother's side had an affair with my grandfather on my father's side. Everyone got divorced, and then my grandfather on my mother's side fell in love, and married my grandmother on my father's side. Family reunions were fun. My great great grandma went out to dinner with her husband one night. Her husband thought she was looking at other guys, and brought her to a hotel room nearby and slit her throat. He left her to die, but she survived, and then escaped and left him. We didn't find this out until a few years ago through an old newspaper. My mom was graped when she was 14. Her dad my granddad tracked the guy down and shot him dead in a bar. My uncle, the protestant minister, was doing wealth management on the side, turned out to be other people's wealth into his pockets, got caught, and killed himself before they arrested him. Turns out my grandfather had been molesting my aunts as kids and other female cousins of mine. Finally one of them mentioned it to her husband and he called him and said either turn yourself in or I'm calling the cops or something similar. Now my grandpa is in prison. Totally out of nowhere for me too. He also said that if more victims came forward he wouldn't deny it. Mostly pissed that if you really think about it he got away with it. He's in prison now sure but he was already dying. So just now on his death he finally goes to prison for what he did. Also pissed that no one in my family seems to care, and they're all trying to make excuses for him. My dad's family is messed up. His cousin told her husband that, if he didn't stop smoking she'd divorce him. So instead of quitting he lied about having cancer. When he went to the hospital he told her he was getting treatment, but instead smoked at the hospital. This all happened, before I was born. But yeah her husband lied about having cancer for almost a decade. My dad is the only normal one in the family. One of my aunties was a very very ill woman like oxygen. To get out of the chair, going upstairs is a one a week thing if lucky. Her son is a prick. When she refused to pay his drug debt off for the nth time, because she had no more money he poured petrol all over the house, and threatened to burn her to death. The fumes were enough for her to pass out. He panicked took a handful of pills then panicked at that decision, and called himself an ambulance. Didn't even mention his mum. Police turned up with the paramedics, arrested him and took her in the ambulance. I disowned him instantly. My uncle was apparently in prison for a couple years for sexual assault. No one ever spoke of it, and I didn't find out, until after he suddenly died years later. He suffered from schizophrenia, and when his wife left him after years of refusing treatment, he wandered off into the woods, and froze to death. Now we don't talk about either of those things. Edit, oh and my father only has one testicle. The other one never descended, and my grandma either didn't notice, or was too embarrassed to take him to see a doctor about it. My friend's uncle had documented schizophrenia, but was drafted for the war in Vietnam anyway. Anyway, his deployment was only supposed to be for about a year, year and a half. He was gone for almost four years, and they assumed he was dead, although the military never listed him as Kyer or Meyer. He arrived home one day at the parents' house in Chicago, and the family was shocked at how strange he had become, and he had always been strange. When they begged him to tell them where he had been, and what he had been doing, all he could say was that he had been in China, but could not, or would not offer up any other information. They think he might have been living as other personalities over there, and had also been doing drugs. Not a great seek tale to stimulate memory recall. Later, while out swimming by himself in Lake Michigan, he was murdered, though curiously the murderer left his clothes, watch, and wallet full of money on the dock, where he had left it. While it is entirely plausible that he drowned Lake Michigan ain't no joke my friend is pretty sure he committed suicide though the family refuses to believe this. My family was smuggling diamonds in the Appledorn area of the Netherlands from the late 1800s up until WW2 they got pretty rich off it too until the Nazis invaded and took most of them into concentration camps. My great grandfather, while on the trains to a camp convinced himself and several others to jump from the trains. 
As they did they were gunned down by Nazi soldiers and my great grandfather was one of the only survivors. My mom's parents were uncle and niece. Her dad married his brother's daughter. Their family was on the east coast and they ran away together to California. They had two kids, my mom and her older brother. All of us are a product of incest. My grandfather's uncle fell in love with an underage girl. He got drafted into the war and had to leave. When he came home he found out she had died. He dug up her grave and kept her dead body in his bathtub. We just don't talk about it and I've never met that side of my family. Edit. First off, holy shoot I did not expect my comment to take off as much as it did. I went to bed and woke up this morning to a million emails. Secondly, I called my mom to see if I could get some answers to all of your questions. Turns out the guy was actually my grandmother's cousin. He was a marine in the Korean War. Apparently when he got back he was told she had died my mom has no idea how old she was or what she died of. He became so distraught he went and dug up the grave, put her in his bathtub and kept trying to revive her. He was discovered only a couple days later. My mom says it was a small town and once her freshly dug up grave was discovered they just put two and two together. No one talks about it. Only my mom obviously. My dad is abusive and keeps my mother in debt, so she can't take us and leave. We look like a perfect middle class family from the outside, but boys it shoot on the inside. I grew up like this. Eventually I was tired of seeing my mom get beaten no one do anything. Also, I had kids of my own now, and wasn't gonna watch them suffer as me, and my siblings did. Few years ago, my dad is just giving my mom a kill a week. Beating her senseless. It went on 4 days. Finally I left. Packed my kids up dad was beating mom in the garage with the music. Turned up so no one would hear her screams and drove down the street and called the police. I was shaking. This man had raised us not to ever speak about the abuse ever. Well. I betrayed my dad and called anyway. Testified in court against him hardest freaking thing to do after 20 plus years of abuse and he got 10 years in prison. He gets out in 2023. But we got away. For now. I don't really think that this is a dark secret, but it's something that I didn't find out until I was an adult, which was mostly because my grandma doesn't like talking about it, so I think it counts. When I was going through some old stuff of my grandma's after the death of my mother, I found some old photographs of a baby not my mom, because my mom had dark, almost black hair at birth and this baby was blonde and a birth certificate for someone named Francesco mom's maiden name. I asked my grandma about it and at first she didn't really want to tell me but I gave her some space and she must have decided that I deserve to know or maybe she was just tired of having the secret because she eventually told me. Francesco, who they called Frank, was my grandma's son. He was my mom's younger brother by a couple of years. Apparently, when Frank was 3, my grandma's ex-husband kidnapped him, and my grandma never saw him again. My grandma's ex-husband my grandfather, although I don't consider him such, the least reason for which is, because I never met him was involved with a mob bandit suspected that he took Frank with him back to Sicily, but nobody is really sure. My grandma is pretty sure that he would have taken my mom too, if my mom hadn't been sick and in the hospital due to tonsillitis at the time. It's kind of given me an idea of why that side of my family can be kind of withholding about things I didn't know my mom had been married before my dad until I was a teenager but it also makes me feel really really sorry for my grandma. My grandfather died in 1946 before my dad was even born. We were always told he drove his truck into a ditch while drunk, fell asleep and asphyxiated when the tailpipe got clogged with mud. He was in his early 30s at the time. Well, I got into genealogy a couple of years back and found a bunch of records and newspaper articles about the incident. Turns out grandpa wasn't alone in the truck. He was with an underage girl less than half his age who also died alongside him. Obviously, this was not my grandmother. The newspapers didn't say it explicitly, but there was heavy insinuation that there was some side of the road romance happening when the fumes apparently overtook both of them. I still haven't told my dad what I found. Not sure I ever will. My uncle was investigated for the Green River killings. 
Years later he was investigated for the Spokane prostitute murders. He was good friends with Yates who was found guilty and his saliva was found on a beer can near a dumping site. When I was a little girl, my mom told me to never get in his car if he tried to pick me up. Funny enough, he sells life insurance. My granddad was into dating students before it became something people lost their job over. That's how our family got started, he taught, then gave extra credit to my grandmother. My great grandma claimed for a long while that she was a virgin which was why she adopted my grandmother, but I later found out that she had multiple miscarriages. IDK if that qualifies as dark, but it's definitely sad. Rip great grandma. Great grandmother and a brothel. Great grandfather was murdered by brothers who decided they were both in love with my great grandmother. Great grandfather was in the KKK. The KKK was quoted in the newspaper as saying something like we take care of our own. The brothers were never seen or heard from again. Edit, brothers were two siblings, unrelated to my family and not members of the KKK. I don't know how they plan to divide time with great grandmother. Also, when my grandfather helped lay out my great grandfather for burial, nine bullets fell out of my great grandfather. My dad's brother is a pedophilic six offender, was caught with over 52,000 images of CP on his computer, as well as bragging about abusing children as young as five. As far as I know, only my mother and I possibly my stepfather, but I'm not sure now that my real father wasn't some guy my mom dated in college, but a stranger who grabbed her and assaulted her. I didn't even know this until she told me when I was a teenager. A super distant uncle in my family used to get in a lot of trouble with cops. My nan and great aunt used to hide him once hiding him in a freezer while cops searched the house. One day he ended up kidnapping an ambassador, successfully ransomed him off, tried escaping the country via boat, but the captain realized he was a crook and tried to take him to the cops. Distant uncle instead holds captain at gunpoint and dives off the boat several kilometers off land. Police never found him and assumed he drowned. Decades later my nan got a letter from him, confirming to all of us he was alive and well. My grandma's ex-boyfriend got put in jail for murder bc he killed a dude that also liked her. Also, she and my granddad would have quickies during tv commercial breaks. My great grandfather was a christian scientist minister they believe that the mind can cure the body and he told the family of a girl with diabetes, a treatable disease to pray the sickness away. The girl soon died and the girl's father killed my great grandfather in a murderous rage. My great grandmother was married to her first husband, an Italian mobster in New York, in the early 1920s. They had four kids. In 1928, six years after they were married, she disappeared and no one in the family knew what happened to her. They all quietly assumed her husband had her killed, as it was known he was very abusive to her. Nope. She ran off with my great grandfather. They moved to Philadelphia and had changed their last names. They were always very secretive about their past. No one knew the original family names or where they had come from. Until I took a DNA test and matched with a third cousin that was descended from her first set of children. Her original four children were sent to orphanages because the first husband couldn't take care of them. It was a big surprise for both families and some very hurt feelings for the children she had abandoned. They are in their 90s but it affected them their entire lives. My grandmother had an affair with my aunt's high school boyfriend's father. It became very awkward when my aunt married said boyfriend and had a kid with him. Why? Because my grandmother married said boyfriend's father. My aunt now has a kid with her stepbrother. On my father's side, my grandfather and my father are both guilty of incest rape. My father is the only one who has been found out though. He took a deal to register as a sex offender only because my little brother and sister were about to testify about what he did to them. The family still defended him, their precious boy, and they shunned my aunt for believing her own daughter when she outcried that he had raped her. I of course do not keep in touch. But he is now with a woman, Hoss completely brainwashed that he is innocent, with a young 6th 7th CO daughter. Poor child.
Found out when I was a teenager that my mom had an affair with my dad's brother and that my brother and I might not be my dad's biological kids. Edit. Just to clarify. It was rough for a long time and parts of my family are broken. But I love my mom and dad mistakes and all. My wife's uncle murdered and buried his drug dealer down by a creek over $37 worth of drugs. He then got a job on the ranch with the creek, so he could keep a better eye on the burial site, eventually owning the piece of land and making it completely private. Me. So my biological father had me out of wedlock, noon in his family, knows about method I know of, I've never met any of them, and the last time I talked to him, he asked me to stay away, because it would ruin his marriage slash reputation. Honestly, I don't care that much, I didn't meet him, until I was like 23 so by that point it's not like anything had really changed in my life other than another blip in my life, I've got way worse stories and issues going on so it's a fairly minor blip at that. I've actually got a sister and niece, that I've never met, but I've internet stalked a couple of times, I sent her $50 anonymously through GoFundMe a while back, but I doubt I'll ever contact her. There's no way it ever send a hey it's me your brother, I don't know if our dad ever mentioned it, but he knocked up my mom about 30 years ago. My grandfather broke it off with his first wife, because she got knocked up by my grandfather's brother who was slash is also married, while my grandfather was deployed during the Malayan emergency. He had stress and anxiety issues the entire time I knew him, and I know it cost a part of himself to forgive his brother, to keep the family together. The worst part? She named the kid after my grandfather. Tried to pass him off as a junior. The kid is now in his 50s and is in prison, selling prison art. I found out that my high school best friend is my cousin. My parents were freaking out when I brought her over. Not as much as when my dad was best friends with her dad in the 70s and his dad panicked because of the resemblance. Turns out grandad had an affair with her grand around 9 months before he was born. No one in their family knows, and only a handful in ours. Edit. Sorry, I wrote that at 1am and didn't think anyone would read it. Just want to clarify. So. Grandad has an illegitimate son dad's best friend in the 70s was the illegitimate son was just coincidence their best friends almost 40 years later I become best friends with grandad's illegitimate son's daughter. In female. We were best friends in the usual sense, nothing else had her in British, not from Alabama. No six with family members, my grandad was just very good at sleeping with other people's wives. This is the only other child we know about though, 